for me, I tend to try stuff that's too hard for me. So I like to be able to get up the route and try the moves. My name's Dan Brayak. Um, I've been stick clipping for about 10 years now. Uh, stick clipping on, on some routes can reduce the danger factor significantly. Uh, a lot of times getting to the first bolt's pretty hard or it might be a bad landing. If you stick clip it, then you're on top rope. You're completely safe. And even coming off a ledge, say, and you're worried about uh, falling directly onto your belayer, if you can stick clip, you know, the first bolt, then you have that in the system so you don't end up taking a factor two fall or anything like that. So it's pretty, pretty handy. It's safe. It's a really good idea. I don't really see any reason why you wouldn't want to stick clip. For me, it's just a personal preference. I mean, if you like to hang your own draws, I mean, that's awesome. You know, that's great. You know, everyone has their different ethics, ethics and, you know, I'm climbing, you know, for me. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, regular just stick clipping. First thing we do is we put our beaner into our squid here. And you want to point your beaner kind of up a little bit so it faces the way that you want to go into the hanger. So you put your rope through your draw and you bring your stick clip up to your bolt. You can uh, put the squid right through the little bolt there. Because you actually pull down on the rope. And if you pull down on the rope, that allows you to push up on the squid and twist out. And then there you are, your stick clipped. All right, say you already have the first draw on your route clipped. What we want to do is what's called a rodeo clip. Basically, you're going to put the rope into the already hanging quick draw. Okay, so what you do is you get your rope, orient it so the climbing end is coming out toward you, put it down into the squid by opening up the little ears and put the ears down over top. Then you need to hold on to your rope because if you don't hold on to your rope, there's a really good chance the weight of the rope is going to pull out of the squid. You bring the loop up to the draw. You need to be careful that you get it right in the little sweet spot of the beaner. Now from here, what you do is you tug on one end of the rope and it clips into the uh, draw and that's it. You're good to go. Now the coolest part about the squid, I have to admit, is the unsquid. The one thing you can't do with the regular stick is unclip an already hanging draw from the route. You want to already have the mouth of the squid facing in the direction of the gate. Bring the squid up to the beaner, you put the mouth into the gate and twist and pull down and then you have the beaner in a locked open position and then you can lift up and pull the draw out of the hanger. This is the Beta Stick Compact. It's an alternative stick clipping device. To load it, what you do is you put your beaner in the little nook here. You use your wire to secure your gate. And you're good to go. To rodeo clip, what you do is you get a bite of rope. Now you need to make sure that you don't back clip, so you want to orient the rope correctly. You go ahead and put a bite of rope through the little velcro section here. You want to cinch the velcro down over your bite. Now when you're extending the pull up toward the draw, you want to make sure that you hold on to the rope tight. If you just let the uh, weight of the rope pull on the velcro, it's probably going to pull out. So you extend it up to the draw and pull one end of the rope through and there you go, your stick clips. Uh, another good feature of the uh, Beta Stick Compact is that you can actually use it for bouldering to brush holds that you couldn't normally reach. Uh, it's set up to put the brush that comes with it right in the little hole here. And it sits firm, but you also use the Velcro to cinch it down even further. And you're good to go. Let's brush some holds.